Good morning, students and staff. It's Friday, the 17th of September, and time for the WBDQ Top Dog News. Please stand and join us in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Reporting for today are Ms. Madeline. Ms. Harley. Aria. And Summer. It's time for our school announcements. Are you listening? It is time for another epic rock, paper, scissors battle. You ready? All right, here we go, y'all. Rock, paper, scissors, go. All right, let's do it one more time. Rock, paper, scissors, go. All right, I wonder how many people beat me out there. All right, good job. Well, we're concluding this week with our caring message, have the courage to do the right thing. Your parents and teachers have taught you what it means to be good, and your conscience leads you in the right direction. But it's up to you to choose to do the right thing. What kind of person will you choose to be? It's birthday time. Summer, who is celebrating a student birthday this weekend? Dawson Kinsman in second grade is celebrating today. Serenity Carroll in third grade will be celebrating tomorrow. And Max Connor in fifth grade will also be celebrating his birthday on Saturday. And Alana Hale in fourth grade will celebrate her birthday on Sunday. One, two, three. Happy birthday. Well, well, you might have noticed that we have two special guests with us, Summer and Aria from Mrs. Owens's class. All right, so I have heard Mrs. Owens's class has a pet turtle. Is that true? Actually, that is not true. We do not want to encourage taking a turtle from the wild to have as a pet. Turtles live a much happier and healthier life in their own habitat. But you have seen us with a turtle. His name is Lucas, and he's a part of the Turtle Rescue Rehabilitation Program in NC State. Well, how did Lucas get to your class from Raleigh? Ms. Owens drove to the veterinarian hospital at NC State. There she met with an NC State student in the veterinarian program. Her name is Lily. And Lily gave Lucas to Ms. Owens so our class can help him with his rehab. Then the goal is that Lucas gets a good checkup and can be released back into the wild. Hmm. All right, that sounds really cool. So what is your class doing to help Lucas? In other words, what is involved with his re rehabilitation or his rehab? We make sure he has water and food. We also set him up in a small amount of water each day. He seems to enjoy that. And then of course he gets exercise at recess. That is really important. He can move really fast for a turtle. Uh -huh. All right, what types, of, what types of food does Lucas eat? We give him mostly vegetables, but box turtles eat grapes, berries, sweet potatoes, lettuce, and worms. Ew. Mm -hmm. Well, where does Lucas go on the weekends? He goes home with Miss Owens on the weekends. Miss Owens says he doesn't move at all when he is at her house. Even in the yard, he just stays wherever she sits him. We think he might be nervous. Miss Owens has an active little dog. His name is Bo, but he definitely gets exercise here at BDQ. He seems really happy here. Mm -hmm. All right, so what happened to Lucas for him to end up at the NC State Veterinary Hospital? He had an infected mass on the side of his face, so they did a little surgery to remove the infection there. And he has also had a really bad ear infection. We had been watching him so far and it looks okay. So if I have a pet turtle that gets sick, I can just drop him off at the veterinarian hospital at NC State? No, this program does not only accept pet turtles that were found in the wild. Hmm. Are you enjoying fourth grade by any chance? Of course. Miss Owens is the best teacher in the whole wide world. Nice. Summer, show, me, show us all Lucas real quick. These are, this is Lucas. Yay. He's so cute. All right. Cute. Well, thank you for watching. And now we'd like everyone to join us in saying the three Bs. Be respectful. Be responsible. And be safe.
Make it a great BDQ day. See you all on Monday on the Top Dog News.